favorite I've always been a big fan of the, the Neil Trimand and the, the 43 it's really the condensed version of everything that makes Neil uh, successful um, I mean one of the striking feature is um, this you know all open uh, plan uh, between the saloon and the cockpit actually uh, Neil calls it the, the cock launch we even invented a name for it uh, but it gives you this incredible view all around the, the water, around the boat, and um, this feeling of you know free uh, circulation, which is very nice. A uh, lot of light, and a lot of arrangement for uh, when you're cruising or at anchor. Um, there's different places you can sit, and uh, you're always in communication with the rest of the team. Um, she's uh, perfect for um, a couple or a small family or a couple with friends. Uh, you've got this main room here, um, next to it you've got the owner's cabin, which is that's what, one thing which uh, has made Neil so famous, it's um, you're above the water, so you really see everywhere around you when, when you're anchored uh, in, in the Trouvaloos Atoll and you've got those incredible colors. I think that's one of the only boats I know where you can see, see it completely from your, your cabin. Um, then you've got the, the saloon, um, it's a big space with your chart table, um, a guest cabin for one, uh, which is perfect for uh, one person or two kids. Then you've got the port cabin, which is uh, again a uh, double cabin uh, slightly smaller than what you would find on the catamaran but that's what gives you this uh, amazing performance that Neil has uh, everywhere in the boat you get uh, you get this impression that you're really on the sailing machine uh, not just uh, again one of those cruising multi hulls um, another feature Neil is very famous for is um, the technical room um, so it's in the in the center of the boat so the weight is well distributed and that's where you find um, the engine at the back uh, then your tanks and all the electrical uh, the main components um, so the charger for the batteries uh, the water maker the solar charger uh, everything sits uh, in that center space As you walk outside, uh, again, you're in a direct connection. So you can see you really have two uh, places to it that are well connected. Um, and as you walk outside, again, you see um, this launch space. So again, as I said earlier, plenty of different uh, places where you can relax, uh, look at the sea, uh, enjoy the view while you're sailing. And then this great helming station with all your ropes coming here uh, great view all around uh, beautiful view on your rig um, and that again really makes you feel like you're a, you're on a sailboat not just on another cruising catamaran so yeah I'm very very happy I hadn't seen uh, the Neil 43 uh, for real until now I had just uh, seen the, the image from the yarn and um, you know, I was expecting a nice boat, but I'm really, really positively surprised. I think uh, that's one of the boats, if I want to cruise around the world again, that's one of the boats, uh, the very few boats I would choose from.